Welcome to another episode of There Is a Better Better There's a better way to intro the show. There's a better intro. My name's Tony and one of the co-hosts along with me is Massive Mike. What's going with Massive Mike this week? <laughs> you have put on a little weight since I have. Uh, the last time you were here. Yeah. And I next- didn't know what the Massive was referring to, so I thought you were trying to get at something else. But uh, I am the I intern would never do formerly known as Ghosty. The You're not even formerly a- known as Ghosty. The intern formerly known as Ghosty. The ghost, ghosty Post formerly toasty. known as an intern. Yeah. Lots yeah. of HR shit going on there. Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that at some point, I'm sure. <sighs> well, welcome to the show. <laughs> That's Thank- it. We're done. All hey. right. Thanks for tuning in. We're, I think yeah, we we'll do that every episode, time. don't we? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Hey, uh, thanks for listening. We have one question for you. Why? No, we're just kidding. Um, this episode, we kind of have a whole lot to go through, so we're going to try to run through it quick. The quick rundown, we're going to do There's a Better Beverage segment. Yes. Do you want me to start that off, or are you going to go, oh, go through, through the, the headlines real quick? Or run not the run headlines. Down. Go through the rundown. Rundown first. Uh, they would do a pretty long and kind of sad uh, rip from the headlines section. What's trending on Twitter? Uh, then we'll go to may or may not do Ghosty doing a spe- special one to see if we can convince him to do one? it. A special one to see if we can convince you to do it. Mike's movie reviews has a bunch of them today. Uh, we're gonna run through them quickly. It'll be tomorrow's war, Loki, Loki. Gunpowder Milkshake, and this week's bucket list movie is The Matrix. There's a better podcast recommendation. Hopefully we get to it this time and not skip over it like we did last episode. And probably the final segment of what the fuck were you thinking? I'm not sure if I want to continue that anymore. What the heck is this crap? I think I'm ready to drink. Let's do this. What are we drinking? So this is there is a better beverage, and that does not necessarily mean that we're saying it's a better beverage. It just means we haven't, or we're, we're going to pour a drink, really. That's all that means. You're going to get live reactions it may or, to it. May or, be, may or may not be something that we like. It just depends on the situation. And today we are drinking Cor, Corazona. Corazolite. Cor, Corazon Respondo. And the reason I picked this up, uh, you guys saw this. This is like awesome packaging. Um, anybody that knows me, I judge wine and liquor very often by the cover. So yeah, like, you can like judge it. Is it is cover. awesome? You spin it around, and there's like this real. It's probably one of the best liquor packages I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. And uh, mm-hmm. according to <laughs> according to <laughs> uh, you we, look at, we average our <laughs> according out, to it's like four. Well, here you go. <laughs> right. Get ready for this one. According to Spanish Dict. Yeah. That's, that's legitimately a website name. <laughs> Corazon means heart in Spanish, and it is made by a company, and I'm, I'm going to mess this up. But by I know I Menon. Sazeric. It's a company that started con- they, they started making cognac. Can you spell France. that for us? Now, without... Uh, do I really uh, need right. to? No, you don't. Okay, good. Well, I mean, if anybody wants to know, since you're giving okay. a little history. All right. Oral uh, history. No, well, I, the Corazon, yeah. I think, is the probably the... Cortisone? Cor- made by the Cortisone Well, see, now you, you absolutely messed it up. Now see, nobody will know what nobody, it is. Well, yeah, that's why you have to spell it. C-O-R-A-Z-O-N. That's Corazon. And this is the part I'm trying to get to here. It was just recently, last month, named the world's best tequila. Oh, we're about to find that's woohoo! That's, exactly. That's I, a bold I picked play. this up a before, not even statement. knowing, because yeah. I picked this up for our uh, tequila sunrise episode. All right, so you guys ready to do this? It's a bold move, oh, Cotton. Does, any, does anybody out. here speak Spanish? No. Did you guys know? Wait, that, that's Spanish. Do you, do so you guys know what Ariba means? Ariba? Ariba McIntyre? Right, yeah. What does do you think? You like, think of Speedy Gonzales when you hear yeah, that? Yeah. Does that mean yeah. like... Uh, uh, hurry up? Hurry? Yeah. It means glasses up. Oh. Oh. And Ariba I had no idea. then. And if you didn't, don't what know I? why you do the salt and lime, basically salt is supposed to lessen the burn of the tequila and the lime is supposed to enhance the flavor. So oh, I thought you were going to say enhance the burn. I, I'm going to start go it off here. Go Ouch. for it. And I am licking myself. <laughs> that every episode too it seems like and that's what we do in order to hold the salt down there right oh, balls oops mike is passing the salt i'm right. passing the salt no salt for me have we swear swore you're yet not, you're not doing salt no you're not doing salt right mike no, i am not i'm skipping it he's skipping the salt i am i am using the salt looks like not. tony's going for the salt for all right i appreciate they, nacl so, should we do a salute so we, well you do salute salute i i, I can salute. see it. Salute. salute is how they say it yeah sure. but I, i'm gonna go with Ariba. Arriba. 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 Yeah. Yeah. That's actually really good right off the bat. I made a mistake doing that. 
I immediately went for the lime when I should have just went for the flavor of the tequila. I screwed that up. I dug it. I kind of regret doing that now. It was good. And yeah. It was good from what I, I should have just waited a second. There is a better alcoholic. All right. All right. Let's go to the rip from the headlines. Um, <laughs> we sadly. We're just going right into it. Yeah, we are. All right. Let's oh, do it. Well, hold on. Can we say about the, the tequila? Everybody. Yes. Go. It's, oh, sorry. Yeah, I, uh, it's good. Good tequila. Yeah. All right. It's good. There you go. Look at that. Awesome. I, love I didn't it. know we were adding that. That's great. Uh, we sadly have some bad news. Uh, two nights ago, uh, Biz Marquis died. Uh, you Aww. know him from probably this. How old was Biz Marquis when he passed? He was 59 years old. 59? Way too, really? Whoa. Way too young. At, at this point, I don't think it's actually been announced uh, what he died from. I know he was hospitalized last year. I'm going to say loneliness. From, from I, I shouldn't have laughed at that. Dang it. Um, <laughs> I'm too late now. Now we can laugh from at you. Di- <laughs> di- <laughs> from uh, type, uh, type hey. 2 diabetes. Oh. He had a hard time with it last year. Um, that's sad that he died. For only 59 years old. Come on. Um, and awesome. going with the awesome. positive thoughts he, here. He probably made a living off of that song, though. That's awesome. Well, yeah, he was also a really good beatboxer. He's in I don't oh, yeah, know yeah, how many yeah. other. He was he had a was part of, um, oh, my God, the Beastie Boys uh, album and, and, almost and, all the way through. The, the, the song was more was it Paul than anything. I think so, yeah. Oh, okay. He'd, he'd be on the trailer. Album, album, by he, the way. Oh, he'd God. sit there and produce with them. Uh, gone too early. Speaking of which, um, keeping the positive theme of the episode so far, <laughs> Richard Donner died the other day. Oh, uh, damn it. It was okay. a week ago. You remember Richard? You well, guys know who Richard no, Donner was? No. Uh, he was the he wasn't part of the Donner Party, right? No. Uh, well, he had Because that would be some late Donner news. Party, uh, table for 10. No, table right. for 9. That'd be, that'd be like some table real late news. Eight. He was the director of Goonies, uh, Lethal Weapon, uh, Superman movie with Weapon. Uh, Weapon. With Christopher Weapon. Reeves? Yes. Oh, okay. So very famous director. Christopher Reeves wasn't in Lethal Weapon. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Uh, let's spin this around. We'll go a little bit more positive here. The, the tequila is already. The tequila is taking over. <laughs> we're for the shit. We're gonna be a sloshy mess at the oh, end. Oh wait, that was the first swear. I think. Yes. Do, you guys, do you guys want another one? I'm ready for another one. Holy crap! No. I, let's get to the segment first. <laughs> <laughs> Which segment? If we could be drunk by halftime, that'd be great. I know, no. I, it was good tequila. <laughs> what are we talking about? Nobody's good. listening anymore. Anyways, uh, radioactive <laughs> pigs have been located around the area of Fukushima. That was the one that got hit really hard by the. Uh, Say, where was it again? The tidal wave. Where was it again? Fukushima, Fukushima. Japan. Where, where was it again? Fukushima. <laughs> where was it again? Fukushima. Fukushima. <laughs> Uh, which has actually started creating mutations of the pigs as they were roaming free. Now, wait, wasn't this in an episode of like, uh, what was that, uh, Sweet Tooth or something? Like, you know, they have the half hybrids. <laughs> Way to circle back to that, Tony. Thanks. Nice but that's not what happened. Um, th- okay, well, that's my uh, contribution <laughs> for the week. Thank you, you very much. <laughs> and we'll you, see Mike. you next time. Oh, I swore. Darn it. We got to do an episode where we don't swear. Just to see if we can do it. Um, my thoughts were... You like, even have that printed in the show plan. You have an <laughs> F-bomb in there. Don't swear. Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, it looks like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are coming true, except for this time it's pigs, kind of like Bebop and Rocksteady. For you nerds that like uh, Teenage hey, Mutant Ninja don't Turtles... Call me, don't call me a nerd. Hey, nerds have t- turned with endearment a now. Okay. I'm a nerd. I don't care. All right, all right, it is what right. it is. You're right. No, Let's stay with the animal theme. Point made. An escaped python. At, what was that? Python. Right again? Escaped python. Escaped? <laughs> I'm gonna like, f- I'm gonna nut punch you here. In that a was second. one of my favorite uh, groups of the like the 90s. Remember? Python. No, no, no. Escaped, escaped fun. Mm. Python. Escaped python. Yes. <laughs> Just kick it. Just kick I, I, it. Oh yeah. I don't know. Kick that. off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down with the Xscape beat. The group was called Xscape. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, get back okay. to the fucking headlines. Back to the snake. Escaped. Escaped. Python. <laughs> Escaped. Python. Escapes a neighbor's Wait, uh, is it apartment Monty building Python? in Austria. It was a And Monty it Python. makes up resident in the guy's toilet. And he's, he, he's, the neighbor's going to the loo early in the morning. He gets bit on his butt. Uh, <laughs> Talk about like those fears of like something in your toilet when you sit down. Yeah, that, that would, A moment yeah. of vulnerability. There's a d- fucking snake yeah, in there. Yeah, I am going to say that well, that would freak the shit out of me. <laughs> Literally. Uh, Whoa. Have you guys seen the movie Critters? I, no, was it Critters? I think it was Critters. Critters. Back from like the 1980s, it was yeah, a horror movie. Yeah, vaguely. And there was a scene where this guy like 
sat on the toilet, and then this little critter just munched his butt. Didn't, didn't, they, didn't they have and something like died. that in uh, arach- <laughs> arachnophobia, too? I haven't seen arachnophobia, but I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> well, yeah, critters was like itch. <laughs> <laughs> so what were the critters? <sighs> You're a butt munch. <laughs> what were the critters? I think they were called critters. It was, well, the other movie they? was called... I don't know. Were I mean, like, I could like monsters, goblins. Yeah, gob- okay, I remember. Ass that. Go- go- they, they, hey, they're ass goblins. Ass goblins. <laughs> <laughs> what a great, <laughs> in, what a great insult. Uh, Ukraine defense is minister delightful. is in hot water, as they had a big Uh-oh. parade not too long ago, and he made all the female cadets march in high heel stiletto pumps. You should have seen this video or this not video this uh, picture. You can see them all in formation with these giant stilettos on. Pumps in a bump. Way to read the room, guy. Uh, books that were. <laughs> Books that were checked out in the 1920s and 1930s were found in a Massachusetts basement and returned to the Somerville Public Library. Can you imagine the late fees on that shit? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> 1930. 19, that's 100 years later. 1930s, yeah. That's actually, they scary. put them on display, and they actually were able to recheck them out. They were actually in really good condition. Wow. So how... But do they, blah, 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 blah. I don't even know the question I'm going to ask. Continue on. The nephew where found them. Where are you going to ask about Geraldo Rivera? That might have do been you remember the that? follow-up <laughs> question. Capone's vault. vault. Wasn't Do you that, remember this? I remember Mike? that they went to... No. You don't remember this? Go ahead. Uh-uh. It was like back in the what, 90s, was it 90s? wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, where they had this big production, Her- uh, Geraldo Rivera goes to break into Capone's vault. You don't remember this? I don't. Where the hell were you? I'm not watching TV. I mean, it was time. a huge production. They got to the Play point Nintendo? where they actually do this whole special... And I think they took like what one or two hours to finally do the unveiling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had like back history of Capone, everything else gets done. I think there was maybe like a, a bottle like in there or something. There, there, there was nothing big, in there. Nothing there. It was just like a big. Didn't mess. he do the Look same? This shit up, man. Didn't he it's do funny. the same thing with a tomb unveiling as well? Like, oh yeah. Later on, I believe so. I, yeah. I I think I remember what you're talking about. Yeah. And I also remember something about Geraldo Rivera drawing. If I'm not mistaken, this was during the Gulf. No, not the Gulf War. Was it the Gulf War or was it the more recent one, um, where he was like drawing up basically plans of the next attack, and he was putting it in the sand, but it was being broadcast to billions of people. <laughs> like, okay, thanks, Geraldo. You've just completely Appreciate given it. away our entire strategy. Yeah. The strategy guide. It's like mailing well, Nintendo Power. My, my initial thoughts are, if you're giving your entire <laughs> strategy to Geraldo. Geraldo, you have bigger problems going on yeah. than worrying about what he's going to say. Jesus. Here, here. Here, here. You're going for the tequila again? Yeah, I'm already I am. feeling the first one. So yeah, I'm, I am. Take us back to the headlines. I'm going. Iowa man arrested for calling in bomb threat at McDonald's who forgot his dipping sauce for his nuggets. Iowa man. Iowa man. Does Dipping's. whatever Iowa does. What's he doing? We don't know. Am but I pouring you another no one? More Probably something with sauce. corn. Mr. Mike. Sure. Oh, Meg. Was massive it Mike. Massive. Massive. massive super Mike. Ma- stupid massive super, black super hole Mike. massive. Wrapping up the hole. segment, we got an eight-year-old who was shooting at tri- Thanks, chipmunks and actually shoots his uncle in the head. Shit. I think I just dripped some on your computer. Uh, if we space out, then we're... That's it. Uh, I got mine, so. So yeah, Elvin and Simon, or not. Uh, let me get you a moist Elvin towelette. Elvin and Simon. Theodore, do, 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 but they, he shot, he didn't kill his uncle, but he shot him in the head as he was accidentally sh- or trying to shoot chipmunks. Who did this? Uh, an eight-year-old boy. That's. What is with the bad news? Why I know. are you giving the bad news? I, I think I was really depressed when I was writing all this up, so <laughs> I just was throwing shit against the wall and see what sticks. Uh, do we want to do another shot, or do we want to go right into what's trending on Twitter? I'm I'm sipping this next one. What's shooting on sipping? Twitter? I, I give you a I moist towelette, sir. You can wipe your screen down. Did you say you don't ship sip ship shit shit? Yes. Shippy did you do ship shit? I don't know if you actually nailed it anywhere. Uh, let's go to what's trending on Twitter. All right, I got to get you guys' reaction to this one. Defund NPR was trending at one point. Uh, it had to been around July fourth. Uh, as it. Wait, can we- can we do it in the style of NPR? Oh, like this is fresh air. Uh, can I give this a try? Yes, please do. Oh, oh right. NPR yes. has been trending on Twitter as defunding ourselves. Oh, no, that's, Our, ourselves. That's unfortunate. <laughs> we, <laughs> that's unfortunate. And drinking way too much tequila. I don't think NPR Drinks can tequila. even spell tequila, much less drink it. <laughs> 
I don't actually mean to take a shot at Taking that shot. Taking that shot. I did not mean to do it. No, I took that shot. Now I should take a real shot. We can pronounce it. Yes, says the. And NPR does not see your notes, so. Yeah. My notes are. We do, so we actually don't. What would our NPR name would be if we, like, we said. There is. There is a better better NPR. Yes. (laughs) There has to be. There is a public podcast. Moving on. Let's take the shot. Oh, shit. He's drinking again. And I was just sipping this time, but oh wow! Actually, give it a sip. Give it a sip. Give it a, just right. a sip. A just sip. give it a sip. Just the tip. Yeah, yeah that's, that's smooth. That's that actually smooth. really smooth. Wow, you don't even need the melon. I, I just lemon. realized my lips are chapped wow. as the alcohol <laughs> went into my cracked lips, and which that is hurt which really is why you, why you really didn't do the salt. Yes. <laughs> Can you imagine the salt followed by the tequila? Oh, uh, let's that give me burns. some more salt. That burns. It burns, Marty. <laughs> All right, the lime that burns. While we're <laughs> sipping on this one, we're going to go to, we're going to continue. What's NPR? What was trending on NPR? To defund them as they pointed out the flawed and hypocrisy of the Declaration of Independence. I actually all heard. All men created equal. I heard them. I, I actually heard it live when they did that uh, Declaration of Independence. But Did you really? The whole bit? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I, I heard the to whole thing. To be honest, I thought this was just kind of cool because I never even thought about it. Um, I, this is no spoiler yes, alert. I listen to NPR. Oh. Shut up. Who cares? I, I listen to NPR. I'm not talking to chance. you. I'm talking to the listener. Oh. Um, but unless you I don't do, listen then to you're it, my, then you're my friend. I don't listen to them as often as I probably could or should. But um, I never thought about. It. I'm a white male. I don't think that's a surprise to anybody. I honestly never thought about it at the what? time. It, hey, what? <laughs> <laughs> he says I never he was a white male. <laughs> did you know this, Tony? <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? I did not. Well, I. I'm not doing the show with him anymore. <laughs> Get him out of here. <laughs> Get out of here, Casper. So anyway, you don't listen to NPR. Uh, but enough is what you said. No, I'm just saying that I thought it was all bullshit that they're trying this to defund really NPR good. or want to make a call for it for actually pointing out at the time was hypocrisy. All men created equal. It was completely ignoring slaves at the time. It was creating, completely ignoring yeah, but women, who's, right? Who's trying to throw out the defunding? That's the thing. I, I, I'll give you one fucking guess. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> And that. we're not going to go in that because I don't really want to be political, but I thought that was a stupid right. thing to be true. And it is, You know, the funny thing is I found it very hard not to be political even in casual conversation these days. Even at like the smallest things that should never be political have become political okay oh i'm about to go down i don't want to do it i know and we'll be right back after these messages and that's exactly it it's kind of hard there's a certain to get into that this should never be political saving lives shouldn't be political but we're going to move on um inadvertently political mark zuckerberg the same day was isn't he a robot yeah trending because of this right here and i couldn't find the video again but this is basically him on a loop for 30 (laughs) seconds of just writing this uh, I think it's like an aquatic uh, hoverboard carrying the American flag, and that's what it said. And American? it just American, American, America, America. 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 Say it like NPR. Even, even America. America, America, America. What are fucking a? Oh, oh my! Worldwide pants. Wait, <laughs> world. What are? <laughs> doesn't this like come you strike you as like Does just creepy? You? What? Well, this is the general consensus on Twitter is that this was obsessively creepy. It's a little creepy, but again, I, he looks like I, a fucking machine. He, you know, I think. Uh, I think even without him on that thing, he's still kind of creepy. Still kind of creepy. We talked about narcissists. Do you think he is one? You're talking about a guy Maybe. who basically created know. a platform that allowed you to be a stalker. Yeah. I mean, come on. Yeah. Oh or, God! Or, or no episodes an individual complete without involved that. in that. We won't blame <sighs> it just solely right. on him. <laughs> this next one, and I'll Fair wrap enough. it up with a second because these are basically one. A wall. A W O L was A-O-L? trending. Oh, that was a good. No, oh, no. As a politician claims. That many, and he claimed thousands, which is in itself bullshit, tells them that they will quit the service if they were forced to get the COVID vaccine, right? Okay. okay. I can okay. tell you right now, and I, I was prior service. We talked about that early, in early episodes. Right. I'm going to tell you right now, he's a fucking liar. And I'm, I'll tell you right to your face, you're a fucking liar. Because one, I don't think thousands of people told you that. Two, oh, they can tell you they just quit. Well, yeah, you know what? You know what? War sucks right now. I'm just going to quit. I'm just going to walk out. Nobody can fucking quit, you fucking idiot. Right. I get really passionate about this shit. I I get that. It's so stupid. He's making a story. The guy's lying. He's flat out lying. But, you know, every time, though, every tweet, one Twitter or one Twitter response means that there are 10 people. And those 10 people means that there's like Oh, fuck. We got 1 million followers then. And then of those 100,000 people, we don't there's like a million person per 100,000 people. So basically, the entire world is telling him this. 
You, you didn't know that, right? Yeah. That's, that's how Twitter works. If anybody could just quit the service at any time, there wouldn't be anybody left. No, nobody would make it through boot camp. Not, none of this stuff. You, it, nobody's, like, the reason a lot of people haven't got it, because right now it's still optional. Eventually, they will probably make it mandatory, like I did when I had to go overseas. I had to get the anthrax shots, and they were terrible. They felt like kerosene was running through my body. Really? It sucked. Did you know that the uh, anthrax vaccine was made here in Michigan? Yes, I did. Yeah. I think it's down, made down in Lansing. That's also true. Now, but I, I assume at the time, uh, I, well, I don't, want, I don't want to throw a year in there, but I assume at the time that you did it, it wasn't like even questioned. It was just a matter of this we don't, is what we We didn't do. get the option. And I think right now, what will happen- Isn't that kind of the military anyway? Yeah. Is, why, why is there any question? I don't know why there's an option now, but I have a feeling like if it comes down to combat readiness, because you're not combat effective if you get sick overseas, right? right? If there's another conflict- I think it'll change the course. If it became mandatory, like all this stuff would go away because they would do their job. They would do what they were signed up to do. Right. And the, none of this shit, would, all this shit would just go away. And then right now it's an option. So a lot of people are trying not to, deciding not to get it. Right. That's their choice. But to say that they said that they were going to walk away from their service is so fucking offensive to me and probably to anybody else that was in the service. Yeah. I, uh, I was not in the service, but I would find that offensive if I was. Let's actually go see. Can we, we, we got to do your segment. I, I know you were kind of hemming and hawing about it. Let's I, do it. I oh, all right, all right. Basically, we, we were, we're looking at doing a there is a better podcast or better discussion. <laughs> yeah, we are. T- we're, we're looking at abandoning the ship from this podcast. Look, clearly, look, look, man, I am Going two, two, on our two shots in with with an empty stomach here. So you know how how long I'll hold on, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but basically, <laughs> last to get demoted back to intern. was the last episode water. that you brought up the deal about the UFOs. Yeah, I brought it up that one, and I brought it up on I think episode five and two. You, I, I can't remember. So basically. Basically, we were talking a, a little bit ago. about how how this this the story of, I mean, the government to some degree acknowledging the whole UFO phenomenon, saying yes, it does exist, and it kind of has been buried underneath everything. And of course, they refer to it as unidentified aerial phenomenon. I believe they do that for a couple of reasons. One, that way they're not saying UFO. Two, because I don't think it's always a matter of it's an unidentified flying object. They want to say that it could possibly be. Um, you know, weather balloons, uh, other governments, be, things, things like that. It, it, it doesn't matter. Phenomena like now the, myself, I personally haven't ever seen a UFO, but I do believe in intelligent life beyond our own here. I think on I Earth. might have actually seen a couple UFOs. One of them when I was in high school. Legitimately, you're Seriously. saying you, you have. OK, yes. Like I was looking up in this. And that's what I wanted to ask you guys. Do you believe and ha- do you feel like you've, you've seen one? Did I jump into the conversation too early? No, you're, no, go, you're perfectly go. fine. That's that's it. So I was on my way to uh, pick up my girlfriend at the time, and like I kept looking up in the sky, and I saw this like little circular silver bubble. It was a bubble. It was just kind of hanging there, and it wasn't doing anything. It wasn't going anywhere, and I kept driving, driving, driving. Even my like my position changed. I kept turning, and it was still staying in the exact same place. And then I looked away again, and then I looked back up, and it was completely gone, completely gone. And then I looked back up. And I even fixed my like my gaze on that area, and never came back. That's like creepy. Yeah. How did you feel at the time? Did you feel? Did you go? That's a UFO. I mean, is that? What oh you yeah, thought that's right exactly what bat? I thought it was. Like that. That had to have been a UFO because it wasn't moving like a plane would move normally. I think I'd catch myself be like, did I see what I really saw in my mind playing tricks on me at first? I mean, have you ever seen shit like that? Maybe you just I, had I saw tequila. things I couldn't explain. I didn't really know what it was. I don't know. Like, do I believe that they exist and there's probably alien life forms? I think we might have talked about this before. I, I almost think it's ignorant not to. Like, if the, the I know the, the galaxy is so infinite, right? It, it almost has to be. But like, I was thinking about something on the way here about something. I actually said it right. Um, hey. <laughs> said, da, 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 da. Woo-hoo. Uh, uh, give him another shot. He'll, he'll be safe. <laughs> we got to break this up right now. <laughs> Either that or it's the shot that's helping you say something. We we it always might think be that slowing down his brain. We are the activity. Mo- we were like the, the narrative has always been that we're the least advanced out of all these societies, right? There right. is one theory that we are the most advanced, and that's kind of pathetic, and we hate ourselves for that. But what if we are well, not? And that's that's the deal. If we're if 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 we're talking about a universe that's been around for billions and billions of years, yeah. and we are the most advanced society, <laughs> where it sucks. It sucks. This universe is <laughs> fucked. I mean, yep. seriously, that means that nobody else has been able to outdo what we're doing. Yeah, that's that's come on, really. You brought up abductions. Do you think that stuff's real? Uh, no, I, I I'm not gonna say whether it's real or not. It was one of those things where I was like, "Do you believe in that part?" See, because that's the thing is myself. 
I've never had an experience that makes me go, wow, I believe in UFOs. My grandma used to talk about kind of similar to what Tony was just talking about. Like she had an experience herself. She, she didn't get abducted, <laughs> but it was one of those things where, you know, as a kid, it was always around me because she would talk about it quite often. And it was one of those things where, I mean, like you, it just, if you look at it rationally, there is no way that intelligent life isn't out there. I mean, there's something else out there. There's got to be. No. But it's a matter of, are we actually being visited? And if we are being visited, here's my deal. You know, because most of the time the movies, and, and honestly, it, the movies are going to portray it as alien invasions anyway, because why would it be interesting otherwise, other than E.T.? But that's that's my deal. Is I figure if they've got the technology to get from one star system to this one, you know, one universe to ours, they've got to be kind of peaceful yeah. in mind, you know, and and because if they wanted to destroy us, they would have done it a long yeah. time. Well, you've ago. seen Mars Attacks, right? Uh, yeah, I, mean, I, I, I kind of love that movie. <laughs> Low key, I like it's so bad and so cheesy. That's some of those movies I think are great. Um, I I don't know, like because we only know what we know as far as like this planet who's to say that they these other societies know that they're even um that they even know like they may, may not even know what violence is they don't know no, what they war probably, is because yeah. they never had that part right. of it they it's don't not like they, they know, know what we that. experience right. well, it's all about experience assistance Assistances. Hey, by the way, uh, I don't know. You didn't plan this, but one of my next segments yes. <laughs> is a movie about <laughs> UFOs. Yeah, well, not really UFOs, but aliens and stuff like that. Oh, that's awesome. It, it, actually, I think you should watch this one. I, I don't want to spoil it or anything, but I, I, I do like alien movies. So I do too. You, it, dude, Alien. The whole Alien trilogy I, was fucking phenomenal. Oh, that I was too. That movie. Hey, but like, th I remember this coming out when I was in. Oh, I'm going to date myself here a little bit, but I was in high school. You know, that's I, illegal I in any of those. I'll be honest with Kentucky. you. I date what myself almost every night. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah. that that means so much. Yeah. Just just let that resonate for a second. I'm not even going to say anything. I tried to make a joke, but yours was much better. <laughs> but <laughs> much uh, better. Independence Day, the movie Independence Day. Yes. I oh, excellent. with Randy, fun, I fun. went cold, totally fucking nuts, Quaid. <laughs> yes, yeah. and Jeff, Jeff Goldblum, who I adore, and I Will love Smith. Jeff Goldblum. But if you, you know, remember the be trailer, I, I, I still. Show. Now, don't get me wrong. I like Jeff Goldblum, but I do feel like he kind of plays the same guy in every movie. Yeah, well, but, it's most, um, most you know, he's um, going to be a guest on our. Um, call it uh, show or show but, uh, oh, yes. oh, i see what you're doing there. <laughs> just kidding yeah. um but if you remember the promo for it that, was funny in my head i'll tell you time. i'll tell Sorry. you what we'll do we'll do an episode where all we do all three of us try to be jeff goldblum Ooh. all the way through the episode Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that, i would accepted. turn myself off if that was the case <laughs> which all i right. do which right. i do again every night right. too we'll do it for <laughs> we'll do it for there's a better uh -huh. discussion at some point right? hey but uh if you remember <laughs> independence day yes it was the super bowl yes in february yes and there was a promo yes. that came out, and all you saw yes. was an alien spaceship blowing up the White House. Right, right, right. That yeah, was yes. it. Yeah. And I remember coming to school the next day, and everybody, that's all you could talk about. It built up so much hype. It was perfectly done. And that's how you like tease something. It's almost so like is that how we have to make people like get interested in our show? Yeah, almost like you tease them right before you go to the Metro. You motherfucker. The that's Metro. The uh, Metro? <laughs> the Metro. <laughs> Missed the cue on this one. Wow. There is a better producer. I, I, I wasn't even waiting. <laughs> it's I, not, I wasn't even. I didn't even. And know we don't have him. I thought I was like slow playing it. It would be perfect. No. You know me. I'm a guy. You have to explain things to me. Arriba. That might be. I got another one. Bottoms up. Is that yeah, the second? That's the one? rest of it. Oh, I'm on three or four actually. That might be. Uh, that might be a future segment. Explain it like I'm five. You know, it's on Reddit, right? Yeah. Basically, anything I'm gonna do is like fucking taken off of Reddit because I don't have a fucking original thought in my head. Same. This is why we have a podcast. We That's why we have a, a podcast. <laughs> yep. We're not on TV. We're not that good. You're giving yourself that a lot of love. Self love. What I do. It's what we do. It's what we all do. He's dating himself tonight too. Fuck <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll be back. Like we're the beacon of professionalism all of a sudden. <laughs>
Yeah. We're like two seconds away from somebody burping, farting, and or gargling something. Uh, that'd be Tony. <laughs> All three of them. <laughs> At the same time. Your inside would, would be outside. <laughs> I can't All the that inside is. noises become outside noises. I should have stood up during that whole break. Welcome back to There Is A Better Podcast. Oh, broke that one down by the syllabibbles. Thank you. My name is Tony. We I got, am Massive Mike. We got Massive Mike. The intern, formerly known as Ghosty. Ghosty. Ghosty, 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 Ghosty. Ghosty, Ghosty. You're talking about all the sounds coming out of the top and the bottom and the intern, your internal sounds coming out. Well, uh, of, yeah. Of you're, you? You're, of me. <laughs> well, because I technically, yeah, I am the one who runs the soundboard. And uh, you as you probably like- haven't, uh, as you probably have noticed, there hasn't been a soundboard in like several episodes. No. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, I, I got called into HR for that. Um, yet again. Yet again. And spend a lot of time there. I do. It's kind of a home away from home. And if there is a week that goes by that I'm not in it, I actually do start to worry. So um, didn't he get a receptionist too? I, I, I yes, and I ended up getting a memo. That's part of the reason why I'm not using the name Ghosty. Oh. No. We well, yeah. got <laughs> both of you sounded disappointed. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! <laughs> but um, yeah, apparently they still have the mics, the microphones in the office. Um, so yeah, you get to hear me getting lambasted. Well, it's um, going into your file. Lambasted. Yeah, and and Ooh. now everybody gets to hear. We it. didn't pick a word of the day. Let's like make lambasted. Let's just do it. That's lambasted. good. Yeah, today's word is lambasted. lambasted. Oh, you had one that I liked the other day. It was like abscond. Abscond? He tried to uh, abscond sound, my beer. That, that, that sounds like a Tony. That's a Tony right word. There. No, you said it. There, I don't use abscond. I we're gonna re, we're gonna play the tape back, and I guarantee you said I, Tony's trying to abscond Mike's beer. First of all, the fact that you said we're playing a tape back <laughs> is pretty damn funny. <laughs> so these guys are clearly over sixty now. <laughs> <laughs> damn it! <laughs> 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 ah, ah, it's funny. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Laugh now. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's oh. go on with the show. Um, before well, we get lame. Oh no. Actually, what's yeah? So, so here's my that. interview with uh, HR. Thank you, Tony. Please take a seat. And by the way, where are your pants? It's my house. What does it matter? We spoke about this before. You should be wearing pants during the podcast and most other times. Oh, right. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Well, wait a minute. What happened to the other HR guy? He died in a tragic minnow accident. <laughs> He was killed by a group of minnows? No. He was killed by a single minnow. Hmm. Wow. All I can say is uh, that's unfortunate. Can we get to the issue at hand? In the latest episode, we received a complaint about a severe lack of the soundboard. Here at There's a Better Podcast, LLC, care deeply about that shit. Do you care to respond to this? First, there's too much soundboard and not enough soundboard. Where... Is the happy medium. Why am I the only one here? Where's Mike? Where's Coco Chanel dirty body butter butter butt ghosty number 15? The intern formerly known as Ghosty. What? Aren't they part of the show? Come to think of it, you kind of look like Mike. Don't worry about that. And Mike and Ghosty don't run the soundboard. You kind of sound like him too. Don't worry about that either. Back to the soundboard. Do you agree it's been lacking? Yeah, I think it's the fucking right amount of soundboarding. This is a second violation in regards to the soundboard. One more, and we'll tell your mom. And you may have to take a week's off of summer vacation. No, 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 no. (laughs) Not again, not my mom. She'll ground me. Wait, what was the last part? That, too, is unfortunate. I said you'll have to take a week's off and enjoy the summer. I have to enjoy my summer? Because you told me to? (laughs) Fine. Are we done here? Thanks for coming in. You may be excused. Gee, thanks. And find the fucking medium! Well, that was something. (sighs) Dang. Did did you expect that? (laughs) Well, it wasn't so much that. It was the fact that I wasn't wearing pants. Yeah. And it's still an issue. You're still not. (laughs) No, I'm not. Yeah. Speaking of which, why are you not right now? It's it's comfortable. You're you're a rebel. I never knew you were such a tidy whities guy. (laughs) Speaking of minnows. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> fuck Lamp both of you. <laughs> what am I going to fuck you? I didn't do anything. I just said something about tiny whities. 
<laughs> so anyway, all right, hey, let's get it's to it. cue to uh, the next uh, bit here, which is Mike's movie reviews. Let's go ahead and do that. All right. Shall we open it up? Let's open it up. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and here you go, Minnow Mike. No. Uh, first movie. That would be next week. I'm going to get I'm gonna get so much shit for this one, but I don't care. And if you don't like what I have to, about to say here, I don't care either. Oh, um, I did see this one. Um, this one is from Amazon Prime, so I'm mixing it up here a little bit. Kay. Try not to do only Netflix, but Netflix is just turning out so much, it's easy for to review them. But this one came out. Uh, this is called Tomorrow's War. Uh, it had Chris Pratt was the main star, and J.K. Simmons was in as well. I don't know why. I thought Chris Kattan when you said Chris Pratt, and I was like, how can you support <laughs> this? I'm not. <laughs> Because uh, right off the bat, it'd be like, we don't even need to review anything. It's shit right off the bat. <laughs> that that's it. Crap. Right. Exactly. Yep, exactly. Um, first thoughts. I watched this with my uh, oldest son. The first thought right off the bat, like it went directly to streaming because Amazon bought the rights to it. Mm. So if it has a direct to streaming nature to it, what's your first thoughts of that, right? It's going to suck. It's going to suck, right? Uh, it's kind of like back in the 80s when it went straight direct to video. To video. Yeah. yeah. That's how I feel about it. It doesn't seem to be the case anymore, though. No, it doesn't seem to be the case. My first thought was like, wow, this is big budget with little results. That was the first like thought I had. Yeah. Um, I This movie is basically people like during a football game all of a sudden just show up from the future um, saying, hey, we're fighting this war against aliens. We need people that are from the past to come with us to help us. We're running out of people. We're running out of bodies. We're not winning. We're about we're to lose this war. Time. Our, our 30 years in the future, we're gone if we don't help us. So right. people start helping them out. Oh, Cran- kind of a crazy kind concept, of right? Um, it, it wasn't... It, it Once you get over that credit crazy part, like, hey, they have a time machine. What are they doing with it? all these other things you could do with it? Just they take A the time machine that only allows them 30, 30 years. years. And they, they do kind of explain that. Yeah, they uh, do. They that's do. Um, interesting. And it, it's... It's time. It's time travel. I guess it all is believable. Whatever you want to, but you can't keep. But you uh, couldn't well, prevent. And, wait a minute. You could prevent. Uh, uh, what's his face from killing himself? Right. No, I, I think it's Courtney Love that really killed him. But um, Nirvana. Kurt Cobain. Kurt Cobain. I mean, that's that's within thirty years. Way to just like bring the conversation down. Oh, we talked about so much death. I'm in talking this episode. about. It's kind of soon, isn't it? <laughs> The point of the whole thing, though, is, is, damn is that, of course, that, that there was only certain people that could be chosen to go. Yeah, and oh, and okay. I don't I don't think so this is really a big spoiler. And, and, been, and technically, Kurt Cobain could have gone because he would have already died. Yes. But and that's kind of, it's not a spoiler. The they go back and- I like, don't think that's that much of a spoiler. Yeah, they go back and basically pull people that they know are going to die between that 30-year window. Right. So, like, hey, you're going to die anyways. You might as well come here and try to help us save the world while you're at it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Why you're at it? Hey, you're gonna die. Sure. Hey, you're gonna die. Hey, what you got going hey, on? Hey, hey, I don't want to. Hey, I don't. Expo- I'm killing here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm dying here. Hey. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Uh, they drafted people, but uh, when they die, they have to be drafted, blah, blah, blah. Some parts, I have to say, some parts were incredibly cheesy. Agreed. And some parts were predictable. Agreed. But they had some comic well, Yeah, if you went back in time, you knew it happened. <laughs> they have some comic, um, Sorry, comedic really parts that really make, um, that really make things more enjoyable from it. There's a guy named Sam Richardson. He's the actor. Uh, he plays kind of the same role in every mil- uh, MILF. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell's on my mind? He plays the same role in every one of them. He's extremely funny in this one. He, I thought he was hilarious. He, he broke the it up movies. pretty nicely. <laughs> I, I remember stopping a halfway through to have lunch with my oldest boy on this one. And so he, you were engaged in this movie. Yes. <laughs> we stopped it, and we are like, at awesome. point, let's go get a Philly cheesesteak. Yeah. <laughs> we thought, well, yeah. here's what happened. We looked at each other, and we said, this okay. movie's supposed to suck, right? Mm. And like, I asked him flat, flat out, does this movie suck to you? He's like, no. And like, isn't it supposed to, though? I'm like, and we both kept on saying, like, this is supposed to be really bad. It was not really bad. I agree. I, I actually went in with the same pr- thought process. I, I thought it was going to be terrible. Crap? And yeah, right. that's basically exactly what I was it. thinking. And it wasn't. I thought this movie... It was a fun watch. I think it went about 30 minutes too long versus what it should have. Maybe. Um, but was it a good movie? Yeah, it was a good movie. Um, I don't want to say it was a great movie, but it was. yes, it was good. Yeah, it's like it's not going to go down in history, but if you want no. an enjoyable ride, kind of like uh, the movie 2012, Yeah, which wasn't that great, No, but it was a fun ride. It was enjoyable. It had these moments. It told fun a story. Ride. Yeah. Um, I remember it's tell- good. Thank you, Tony. 
Um, I remember talking to my son saying, what, very something, very something, I did it, something very specific. I said, hey, this is a great movie, but they should not make a number two. They shouldn't make it. Just leave it at that. Guess what happened two days ago? Of course. Oh, seriously? They announced that they're- Son yeah, of a bitch. Yeah, they're, bad they're, move. They're, it was a bad, it's a bad move. Why no, must you ruin it. everything? Say it's good. Ruin That's everything. all sad. Ruin everything. It, 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 it was, Why must you ruin everything? It was good. Everything. Is it a perfect Fucking movie? No. Is it one of the sequels. best streaming? direct to streaming movies that probably ever came out the answer is probably yes and a lot it, of people aren't going to like that answer it was it was definitely good uh, there was a lot of hatred about that one especially on twitter last i'm like holy smokes people are really hating on You're this. really not liking it huh no they just they thought it was like the worst movie they ever what seen was what was their uh their rationale yeah none they were just because it was direct to st- streaming thing that they've that direct to the, streaming and I, I also assume they were probably a little bit down on chris pratt or what yeah well a lot of people either you really like chris pratt or you hate him i i, <laughs> I, I think no, that's not true because i'm right in the middle I'm like, I, 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 I like I, to say it differently sorry. chris pratt chris, chris I, pratt but i get what you're saying he he was fine in the, the film he was no he didn't yeah. he didn't do anything wrong in it i thought he was fine i he was it overwhelmingly good no yeah, but it was probably the best stream movie, direct streaming movie ever come out, and I know people aren't going to like that, and I don't care. Um, one of the best. Well, we'll call, actually, we'll call it one of the a, best. One, one of the best. best. Yes. It, Are you bringing that, up what I'm thinking? You're bringing up. Well. I've saw there's something called Letterbox and some other there, people are pre-reviewing a movie that hasn't came out and they don't have access to. It's a M Night Shyamalan movie already called Old, okay. and they're already review bombing it before it even came out. But isn't that just because M Night Shyamalan has kind of been a one trick pony? Not to say that he hasn't done good movies. To get value, what was his one trick? Uh, that there's well, he had he had, every he had fucking I mean, he's movie. Had quite, a few, he's had quite a few good. He movies. had the happening, which but it was like this. It was always this Science. twist. It was always this twist, and ever since the Sixth Sense, you were expecting always the twist. expecting the twist. Exactly, right. yeah. So that was a formula that he really did well, but it became very predictable. I thought. <laughs> the twist but became predictable. That's actually bomb, funny. That's, yeah. To destroy now, a movie. Now, the twist would be that there wasn't a twist. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do that? M. Night Shyamalan. To we us. challenge you. <laughs> but then the there twist is better, that there isn't a twist, but that's the there twist. is a better, better twist. Isn't. Yes. <laughs> to review bomb a movie before it comes out, and you're getting um, your kicks from destroying a movie before it comes out really is a reflection Dude, people, on you. People that's people a shitty wanna, thing to do. People Agreed. just want to hate I would bomb never everything on the internet. I know, that's I, just it. I know I'm hard on some of these movies where I'll, I'll tell them that they're shit, but at least I've seen the film and I give my reasons why I think it's shit. Well, there you go. Uh, I'm not going to do that before that's the movie comes shit. out. That's good shit, man. That's good shit. Um, next up, uh, Disney Plus. We have it's Loki. It's shit. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no. no, it's not shit. Oh. It's Loki. Shit. L- Loki was a... Uh, it's a uh, basically it's a show. it picks up right up after Endgame, uh, Mar- Avengers Endgame, uh, where he inadvertently comes across the Tesseract and he basically teleports himself to a different place, and the um, TVA, the Timeline Variation Association, or whatever it is, Timeline Variation basically saying it branches off to a timeline that should not exist. So th- at this point, Loki finds all these variants of himself, and there's a lot of variants of Loki. Um, it, it, one thing is kind of funny. There's a female version of himself, uh, but so they keep on saying he's general or gender fluid, but he falls for this person, right? So basically he's falling for himself. Like this goes right down narcissism. I'm like, wow, this is really weird, but it wasn't overwhelming. It didn't take anything from the story, the story, uh, Owen Wilson's in it. And was wow. actually a nice performance from Owen Wilson. Uh, that's the first time I seen him do like hey, a Loki. TV. <laughs> hey. hey Loki. Hey Loki. Wow. 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 Come on, Loki. What are you talking about? You know, it's funny in the story. Wow, Loki. Let's hang out, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's more. That's more that's Vince Vaughn. Yeah, it is a little bit. A little bit. Little bit. Uh, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Loki is always betrayed. Everybody has hey, ever hey, known, buddy. but it looks like in this one he finally learns his lessons. And when I say he betrayed everybody, sometimes he reluctantly. Betrays him. Can you try that again? Grammarly, help us out, please. Yeah, forget Grammarly. I'm over them. Um, I gotta <laughs> they say, were, they were over you too. Yeah, they oh. were. They didn't even acknowledge my existence. <laughs> well, that's not true. They did, but um, episode five. This is right before the season finale. 
uh, was my favorite. And the reason why, they had basically what's considered the comic book classic uh, Loki, which is a little bit different from the rest of them. Oh, really? And he was fantastic. He stole the show. He was only in for one episode for maybe 15 minutes the whole time, and I could not look away, and I actually rewinded it twice. Rewind. Yeah. I played. I ran it back a little Be bit. Kind. Did you put it in that little... <laughs> yeah. uh, did you put in the cool uh, car I, VHS rewinder yeah. that, you know... <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was you know you phenomenal. Um, the season finale was good. Uh, a lot of people are, and it really sets up like what's going to happen in the next phase of the uh, Marvel Comics uh, universe of movies, uh, giving you basically the villain of it. And right at the end of season two credits, the post credit scene was it's been renewed for season two. Ooh. And the reason why it was rene- renewed for season two is because it's it's good. Watch it's, it. It's it's good. So it's yeah, kind of like at the end of it's kind of like at the end of um, uh, Back to the Future how it says to be continued. Yes. Although in the theater release that actually didn't occur, but in the VHS release it did because they'd already signed on for the next movie. This one, the next movie is okay. from Netflix. Sorry, I put something out there that nobody gives a shit about. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> we you this one I actually moved up. I had this in a different uh, show we we're gonna do. I moved it all the way up to this one because wow, I wanted to talk important. about it. I wanted to talk it immediately. This came out just uh, last week, maybe a week and a half ago. It is Gunpowder Milkshake. I told you weeks ago I was gonna, excited about this one. This has Karen Gillan who plays uh, Nebula in the Marvel comic book universe. Okay, and uh, Lena Headley who also plays Cersei. And Game of Thrones, those are the two main stars of this. It has a crazy intro. Uh, Ghosty, this is kind of up your alley of movies. I think you would like this if you haven't seen it already. Which platforms is that? Netflix? Netflix. I had... Well, you have Netflix, I think. I do. (laughs) From (laughs) Tony! I do believe I do. This movie is kind of funny. As I was watching this, I'm like, man, this reminds me of something. And it, it has very strong Quentin Tarantino vibes. Oh, really? And Robert Rodriguez. And, uh, and this is like... As Does I was it have What's-Her-Face in it from the other no. Rodriguez movie? No. no Uma, Uma Thurman? No, no. no. It kind of reminds me of Selma Hayek. Though. Selma Hayek. That's what I was Sel- referring to. Oh, Selma. I like Uma Thurman. I don't like Selma Hayek. This oh, one uh, doesn't matter. God, I, I, you, should just be, you should be lambasted just for that statement right there. Lambasted. Fucking go ahead and call me on an HR. Come on. Bring it. Bring it. <laughs> oh, I, dare I wouldn't you. issue that one. I dare you. I, I am. I'm going to call him. I'm talking I to HR, man. fucking <laughs> dare you. talking to him one way or another. It's going to happen now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> as I was typing this, I'm like, man, what is this? And I'm like, wow, this is a bloody violent, funny mess of a movie. Uh, it had some fantastic un- and unique kills, like the way that they would Finish kill it. off characters. Like, holy crap, that was amazing. Almost as amazing as in Fear uh, Street when somebody's head went through a bread oh, yeah, slicer. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, <laughs> hey, I was I did not mention that because I didn't want to like give a spoiler. I didn't say who. I didn't say who. That was in the first one. Spoiler! Though. That was, was weeks ago. One. They should have watched it by now. Yeah, already. they should have. All right. That was 1994. Uh, what was good to see is uh, between Karen's uh, character and the girl that she protects, that she kind of finds. Is uh, that she wasn't uh, asking to see speak to the manager? No, this Karen was not. Oh, good. Um, Finally, they, she's broken the mold. They good had job, this, Karen. They had this relationship that forms during the film, and there's a great back and forth between uh, Lena's character and um, Karen. Speaking of which, uh, Lena, I'm going to segue a little bit about her. A, if you hate her, Lena Headley plays Cersei because of the role that she played in Game of Thrones, it's because she did her fucking job. Her job was right. to make you hate her. She's well, not a terrible and, actress. And, and I said, I that said that when we talked about up. that before. I mean, I, I think her performance in that is just phenomenal because she had the ability to basically convey emotion with like a simple twitch in her face and i just every time i watch game of thrones i'm like god that's awesome i didn't even watch her like god i hate her i'm like wow she's doing such a fantastic job so, and i really hate her does she have that same vibe in this movie no she plays a different role entirely and it so, was great to see it was great to see her friendly, in this happy. Role. it's not no. like a, good uh not like unsufferable but like edgy and so she's still kind of a bad guy no she is but it's not like she's not warm and fuzzy she kind of plays a now you got me thinking Billie Eilish. Great, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Warm and fuzzy? You got me to think well, of Well, actually, that too. I, I, I like Billie Eilish. She just plays a, a, a role no, that's the bad not, guy, dumbass. Like right down the middle. Not good, not bad, but okay. like you kind of root for in All a right. way. Um, there's something that happens in this... 
film, there's a lot of flip phones. Just watch this, and you're like, all of a sudden, you're like, God, Mike was right. Like, what the hell is up with all these flip phones? Everybody had one. So was year does this was take place? Was this taking place in the right early two thousands? Wow. Oh, right really? now, what? It doesn't make any sense. I can't figure it out. But they, they're in love the with smart. flip phones. Yeah. Um, reason why you should watch this is because it's good. We had three I, in a row. And everybody on Twitter apparently agrees with me. Everybody was saying go watch this film right now. Um, All right, I don't I'll know see if you I guys wanna, later. I don't want to say per, it's a perfect <laughs> film because it's not, but it's a really good one. Maybe the best one Netflix has put on so far. Maybe the best one. Are you going to do a made? review of uh, <laughs> the Fear Street series next? I want to get through all three of them. Okay. I'm only through right. one and a half. Because I kind of want to know where you landed on that. Okay. I like to say I, 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 I like it I so far. I have watched all three. I, I, I want to say I borderline love them so far. Um which I'll throw it out there again. We didn't get any takers, right? No. Nobody reviewed it. No. Somebody yeah. reviews it. We will consider Read it. reading it on air if it's appropriate. Just for you. <laughs> Which doesn't take, wait. We're does reading that appropriate take stuff? much. <laughs> yeah, does that uh, take much to be appropriate? No. Hey, uh, the next edition of, our thing. of the fifty bucket list movies to see before you die. Mike's. I think this would be my third choice, wouldn't it? Um, it's actually the Matrix. Uh, people are going to probably say, why the hell are you putting the Matrix in there? I'm going to agree with you. You know, it's a movie it's I've never fucking seen. Movie. <laughs> I, I want you, I'm joking. You're now, lying. Now, the obvious follow-up is The Matrix or The Matrix series? I'm going to go with strictly The Matrix. I'm going to agree with you on one. that. You're going to agree? I'm going to agree. I, the Just other the ones Matrix. were good, but the first Matrix was great. Why do you guys have, or why, actually, Tony, why do you have a problem with the others? Well, the moment that... Because I liked them all, and I, I know people don't. Sure. Go ahead. Um, okay, so I think the moment that the first Matrix came out, it blew everybody away uh, visually. Nobody had ever seen anything like that before with bullet time and all that sure. other stuff. And then, so the next few movies, or the next two movies, rather, where could they really have gone? They really couldn't go any further from that visually or stylistically. The story... The story was very well done. It was very well thought out in the first movie. The second movie, it was like they were just trying to kind of extract little participles from the first one to make something else out of into the second and the third movie. It's almost like it's almost like you're making banana bread, but you ran out of bananas. So I'm just going to take some bits of this banana bread, throw them into the next batch, and uh, yeah, it'll taste like banana, right? Well, I will. I will say that the third did not overly impress me, but I. I still think all three are 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 good movies. Yeah. I mean, they're just they're they are, enjoyable watches. They're good, but the first one is no. on a whole different level. Yeah, because so we never saw anything up until that point like that with but, the stop but, motion. But it, it's, it's kind of like, like saying that. like after Quentin Tarantino's Pulp Fiction, you know, I mean, it's like what are you going to get after that? Because he basically outdid himself right away. You know what but I mean? that's Quentin Tarantino, well, and, and he knew that he had to create a different story. And it wasn't the same story. Well, no, he, right. he, he tried to do other things. A Reservoir Dogs, I think, was a, a valid attempt at that style that he was trying to capture. Okay. And then Pulp Fiction, that's where it just blew up and actually changed cinema from then on. Sure. I mean, it's like you see it all the time. But has he ever really? I wonder how many of those movies match, make this list? Has he ever really matched Pulp Fiction? Um, don't get me wrong; he's had some good flicks. I don't know, but I nothing, haven't seen nothing to but the I, equivalent I, I, because they're because it's not part of a series. I think Quentin Tarantino's movies can be treated as individual well, attempts. Therefore, The Matrix two and three, fair enough. because it's I haven't part seen of that, it yet, but I heard uh, just the same thing rehashed. Once upon a time in Hollywood's kind of up there too. It's like I'm eating pizza yet. ten days in a row. I don't think you just don't that. do it. Um, Why do I always go to food? Because <laughs> we were hungry. At this hungry. point, we're starving. We're, we're, we're running. We're five running or six, here. Five or six tequila shots in. You know, uh, it's our the Matrix, Can iconic one? movie uh, starring Keanu Reeves. Can one I of get my favorites. One? Not another one of my favorites. Shot. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, I got you. Thanks, Carrie Ann Moss and Lawrence Fishburne, who I enjoy. Um, Fish no, I did not. Good burger. No. Um, Fish burger good movies burger. up at this point were not shot that way. It was mind blowing to the people that saw it. With stop time, changing point of view, rotating on around, and continuing the scene at the exact same point. It's called bullet stopped. time. Yes, uh, the movie itself launched a three part series, and now there's another one coming this year. What? Later on, Matrix Four is coming out no. later on this year, I believe, December twenty second. I don't don't quote me on that. The fight scenes were amazing. Uh, basically, it's a dystopian future with man versus machine. Have you seen this movie already? <laughs> what the fourth one? Yeah. No, I have no. This is, that's him. And right? how do you know the fight scenes are amazing? Here you go. Um, you know it's funny. Oh God, Mona Lisa smiling at me again. Um, 
What the heck is this crap? As I was watching uh, Gunpowder Milkshake, there's a lot of those moments that reminded me of Matrix. Does that? Did you actually explain that you had Mona Lisa shot glass? I did not. I have a Mona Lisa shot glass. There you there. go. <laughs> <laughs> I need some we elaboration lambasted, on that. We lambasted that segment. I am uh, drinking before from you, Rick out of Rick and Morty. Before and I'm we, drinking out of a, um, uh, what the fuck is it, blue guy? It's Dystopia Meeseeks. Future. Meeseeks. Meeseeks, thank but you. But Matrix... Is this, is this, it, it, <laughs> he is Christ. still trying to get through the Matrix here. Existence? No, I'm, let him finish it up. Let him finish it up. No, no it's fine. Um, no, it's fine. It's fine. We're well, done. When our website's up and running, we're going to have the running list of the uh, bucket list movies on there uh, All for right. your viewing pleasure. Uh, let's go ahead and put a wrap on uh, the Matrix. Or should we do this with a shot first and just call it a wrap and go to the next segment? Uh, it's good. Take two. Let's, go. let's do the shot and say to the very first Matrix movie. To the Matrix. Matrix. And we are out of limes. Mm. But it was still tasty. Doesn't taste bad with Skittles. <laughs> oh, seriously? No. That sounds awful, dude. It's fucking it does. terrible. Remember, this Don't is the guy it. that was drinking really Coors Light awful. out of a Twizzler. Yeah, but that's actually pretty awesome because that'll just up grade the taste of Coors. There's a whole lime right there, and you're trying to tell me that there's no lime left. Well, I didn't have a <laughs> knife, so I didn't cut it. This is lying. Wait, you sit on the throne of I mean, honestly, honestly I just brought it along for like visual appearance when we actually filmed the uh, the whole so thing. Wait, <laughs> knives don't exist here. That was a pre-cut lime. Well, the, no, I, I cut the other lime, but the other one was supposed to be but basically visual appearance, <laughs> and I didn't think we'd actually go through enough to nice. actually get to the That's second lime. It is. Um, Harry Nielsen. Since we forgot about yep. this last time, Nielsen. Uh, Nielsen. or probably by we, I mean me, because I'm on some dumb shit. Like Nicki Minaj. Um, ah! Because you got lambasted. There is a better podcast recommendation. This, oh, yeah. This oh, is the right. first one that is not, like us, an indie podcaster. So what? This one actually, <laughs> everything changed for me when I listened to this years ago. Are this we is talking called Corporate? Up, no. Well, not really, but he had, he's, he's a well-known name. This is called name. Mike Finally Had Puberty. Did yeah. he just puberty? Did I just puberty? That's going to be our first just shirt, puberty. right? <laughs> Did I just puberty? Uh, this is called Up and Vanished. Um, when I listened to this... It changed, like, I wasn't really into podcasts before this one, and Payne Lindsay, who runs this, he's a uh, filmmaker, he followed the case of Tara Grinstead, who disappeared in 2003 from Georgia. She was a uh, beauty queen. He follows her, and he basically goes there, and he rehashes a case because it was such a dead case for so many years, 10 years. I think she might have went in 2006, because he started in 2016, I think. And he went and re-interviewed all these people, and it was shot in a way... Um, I, I'd never heard anything up until this point before. And he has this guy do a recap at the top of each episode with a deep voice that sounds like our ghosty. Yes. Oh, it was. It's <laughs> it's phenomenal. Listen to the first one, um, the first season of it. Uh, and the second one's about Crystal Reitzinger. Uh, they never find her either. But um, it's about people that go missing and you never hear from them again. It's mm. an investigative podcast. Like you can hear all his thoughts and how he's doing mm. this. And he put all this time into it and all That's this money cool. into it. I like that. And the sound quality and like just the way he did it was amazing. So it's um, kind of like an NPR I'm like approach to what he's doing. I, yes, no, yeah. I know you're not really NPR. you know like no. NPR style. <laughs> Is it in NPR style? No, it's in the sense of like you, he has like music faded in and like it's his thoughts and like he's following what they're called ri- white rabbits. Like that, he has this new lead. They're like, oh my god, they found these bones under this. He goes to the house and they start digging. It sounds they find almost the bones. like it almost sounds like Night Vale. Um, Have you heard Night Vale before? No. Night Vale is almost like, um, <laughs> speaking of NPR, um, it's almost like a um, Prairie Home Companion style, but uh, it's basically this like town. I'll review it in another one. Just we'll we'll, we'll talk about that later. Well, I, well, thanks for nothing. <laughs> well, listen, you're to, welcome. Listen to season, your service. Season one of this, like this, just the way. Is there it's anything done? else I can do for you? <laughs> Um, or no, can't do just, for you. Just don't do anything, and you're doing just fine. Oh, he man. tells a story. If I could quit my job, can I put it, like effort into not doing anything? No, you're you're busy like distracting Mike. Magnificent, massive Mike has got three minutes. <laughs> Magnificent to spit was this coming out. later. <laughs> I'm a majestic whore. Ooh, majestic. Um, majestic Mike. Mufasa majestic. Mike. M- ooh, stop these. I have, you, ah! have, you, have, you, have you used Magic Mike yet? No, I was saving that for a special oh, episode. For a special one. <laughs> Clothes option. Pants optional. <laughs> All right. Up um, and Vanished is the podcast. Yep, Finish this to, off. Listen to season one. Finish um, it off. Dun, for, forgive some dun, of it. Dun, 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 <laughs> dun. Go, keep going. I'm giving you music. Dun, no, dun, please dun, don't. Dun, uh, it's copyrighted. Stop dun, it. Dun, 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 it's copyrighted. Uh, new season is coming up. Season. This will be season three. 
Um, I'm going to tell you, I'm not going to spoil what happens, but because of the pressure Payne Lindsay and his team puts on, there is a resolve to that case. It was a cold case there prior to There is a better him. resolve? They, I'm Hopefully. not going to say they find terror. I'm going to say that, that something happens in the pressure they put on. If I could quit my job and do this for a living, do exactly what he did, I probably would. Um, but it costs a lot of money <laughs> to do something like that, and you the hours he puts into that... It's it's amazing. So you might have said it somewhere in there, and I just missed it. So mm-hmm. every show is kind of revolving around a mystery. No, the first season in itself was just following. It was like ten episodes so long, just, just following case? this one case. Tra- oh, Tara Grinch, oh, okay. that's my favorite. Wow. After that, he follows a uh, se- second season. It's about uh, Crystal Wright. So how many how many episodes does he pull off out of that? The first one I think is eight or nine. Okay, the that's, second that's, one is that's pretty six. impressive Solid. to pull that off. But on then he turned it, it, it got picked up for a TV case. series where they do one episode oh, wow. per missing person and they're trying to find these people that have gone missing. So why is this not like an indie podcast? Because it's heavily produced. Um, what I'm going to say now is when I started listening to it in 2016, there wasn't that many commercials. This mm-hmm. last time I listened to it prior to this podcast again, there was probably like five in each episode, maybe four. And it's really distracting to all of a sudden listen to this very intense story. And you're on this journey with him and he does an incredible job of telling you the story and all his thoughts and feelings of he's trying to find this woman. And um, just in the way he does it, it builds up the sensationalism. But when all of a sudden you're, then you're listening to Rocket Mortgage. It's really, oh. it's really Rocket mortgage eh. burn understandable, but I, you like know, never I mean, before. I, I get what you're doing from our perspective. Kudos to him for being able. It to could have been like that. a segue that's, into it a little bit better, but the, it's a great podcast. It's I would absolutely if you're getting starting with podcasts, start right there, um, and just kind of get take some notes from how he did things. It was phenomenal. Um, so we're wrapping that up. Uh, that's uh, about it, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we got the what the fuck were you thinking? Oh, right. um, which is we got this last week too. New Jersey man yells profanity and racial slurs at neighbor, neighbors oh, on live video. Then he's like, well, if you're mad about that, here's my address. Come get me, he says. And guess what? They did. People did. Yeah, they should. Hundreds of people showed up in protest, and he was promptly arrested for all the things that he said and awesome. did. They, they just protest, right? Yep. Didn't do anything stupid. Well, Good. Okay. All right. When he got arrested, they started pelting him with stuff. Yeah, Water don't, bottles. Don't do food. that, people. You just turned around and defeated everything you just tried to his, stand up his for. His justification for his terrible things. Right. He just became the people that you were trying to stand up against. Well, how dare you? People's frustration. If I, and I get it, but. If they yelled racial slurs at me, and it'd probably be hard to pull back from that. He says, uh, this is who I am. I was just stuck in a uh, uh, property dispute with my neighbor. Yeah, that, that's pure justification for racial slurs and other stupidity. Sure. God, what is wrong with people? So that's, I don't you're know. part of our what the fuck you thinking, you stupid idiot. What the heck is this crap? Exactly. Well, do we want to do we want to put a bow on it? Do you want me to banter more? In uh, bullshit. You know how much time we got? Yeah, we, we we're, we've afforded a few extra minutes. Here, let's do this one. Uh, recently, there was a theory that's been floated many, many times on here. And okay, well, thank you for listening <laughs> to the show, and uh, it's been a great time. Thank you so much. There and it is. we've got the intern formerly known as Ghosty. Yeah. Massive meat hanging Mike. Is, is that what we're doing? That goes for there. Don't forget to plug our social media. Oh, yeah. We didn't do that to start. And right. our contest. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got the. Oh, yeah, we'll do that first then. Uh, make sure you leave us a review if you can, Apple Podcast, or just send it to us via email at there is a better podcast at gmail.com. And uh, let us know what you think of the show. You'll be in the running for the Radio Shack Trucker Hat. It's a beautiful thing. It's awesome. And you can also find us on Instagram at there is a better podcast and Twitter. There is a better, the number one. That's the intern formerly known as Ghosty. That's Mike. Oh, sorry. I'm Tony. That's me. And we will That's see him. you next time once we get through this tequila no oh we're gonna drink tequila no we're not i got a half a bottle here no i feel like you're making some hamburgers you guys want some let's get a hamburger let's get tequila i'm gonna i'm gonna be the hamburger can we put i I will will actually if you guys want to drink the rest of the tequila i will cut up that line no we got things to do (sighs) i don't think the lime is we gotta burgle it the night the lime is not enough for us to continue through with the tequila no oh, it is if you were to say you can eat the rest of the lime if we drink the rest of the tequila then i'm in yeah you lost me okay we'll see you next time <laughs>